welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus. And today we are going to head over to our street race mission. I do want to knock these out. And we just bought this ridiculous new truck. It looks like something that uh, Russ Cole from the first season of True Detective would drive. So I'm pretty comfortable with that. If it's good enough for Russ, it's good enough for me. I don't know why a pickup truck like this would be a hundred thousand, like a little more than a hundred thousand, but the cops took a look at that and they said that is a perfectly legal turn, sir. Have a great day. <laughs> this thing actually handles pretty nicely. You're probably just paying for like straight up the handling on cars, I think, because so many of them are so bad. Well, there I go through the bottom of the world. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. All right, well, the game actually handles that pretty well, but I don't know where I was. All right, let's try that again. All right, let's hit him with a breach protocol. And now we're gonna do contagion and that should drop them all. That works for me. Let's read the message. Find out what was going on here. So Frank Kaufman says, too risky, sorry, I can't. And Misako Yoshida, you can. You put that GPS tracker on their cars, that's it. Oh, you put our GPS trackers on their cars, that's it. Uh, and Frank says, do you even know the risk I'd be taking doing that? And Misako says, you'll earn more than you make in a year. Frank, if they find out, hmm, I want the scratch and I want to join the Tiger Claws shop. And Misako Yoshida, sure, just get those trackers on before their next run, okay? No, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me? Uh, alright. Nothing I can pick up there. And this looks like more conversation, so let's give that a read. Uh, Kamala Smith. Uh, we've been set up. Tigers knew exactly where and when to attack. Steve Zane, where'd you get your wheels done? Kamala Smith at Frank's. Steve, check him out. Context conversations where he gets his tech, everything, and Kamala got it. Maybe it's Kamala? I know that's the way the uh, vice president's name is pronounced. Or at least I'm pretty sure. Thought I saw something here. Yep. And just some ordinary construction workers. Nothing too interesting there. So let's keep heading to the Santo Domingo race. We are holding strong at about 200 healing items. I was worried that by this point in the game, I would have something like 900 of them. But we've been kind of chewing through them at a reasonable enough pace. I do still think they give you, like, kind of a ridiculous amount. But I feel like games like this are less about the action and combat and more about the actual story. Which is why I'm trying to be as thorough as possible to discover as many story elements as I can. is just so much fun to do. All right, here's the spot, and let's call Claire. Claire. Hey, ready for the next race? Already here. 
ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride, or am I bringing Beast? Oh, uh, we can take Beast. Beast. It's time to unleash her. Can't keep a spit-shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah. Rancho. Be right there. See you then. All right, and let's hurry up and wait. Hey, V. I'm gonna take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. Uh, you got no fear at all? No worry, this will get you killed. What, today? The race? Why? I'm not asking about just today. Could be, though. Or the next one. The one after that. She and I got shocked and killed by a faulty toaster in her own kitchen. So, you know, it is what it is. Case her all around. All right, and uh, why would I have a bad feeling about this? We've been doing great, but let's just use our Street Kid dialogue anyway. This race is giving me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? You got six Street, the Mox. Gangs are well repped. It's a matter of when a temper goes nuclear. Be fine, don't worry. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. All right, well, let's get in. I wonder if this was what Claire was listening to on the way here. Yep, let's rock. Okay, that was decent. Doing okay so far. I wonder if I shouldn't crank these up to like very hard before I do them. Cause they don't seem like I rolled over a couple of times in the last one. And they don't seem difficult at all, particularly compared to the boxing matches. Those are just ridiculously difficult all the time. Especially since my uh, parry seems glitched. We can win this team. We sure can. And we probably will. Oh, do not want to miss this. Okay. Woo. All right, if it's just freeway driving for now, this should be pretty easy. Literally just holding W. I knew it. I was like, they are going to try to get me with a turn here. And they got me. Dare him to try. That's actually not that bad. Don't miss it. Okay, nice. All right. I feel pretty confident now. 
That one turn was pretty ugly, but the rest of this shouldn't be too tough. We can win this <laughs> They have the same idea. Just fly into the wall. I remember driving up this. Maybe this is the same spot. It feels like it's the same spot. Yeah, the dam right there. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, no, don't hit the wall. Come on. I was really afraid I was going to fall off the cliff there, but we're good. Over the top of the dam. I love it. This is cool. Sounds Sit awful serious. There, okay. Wow. Quite the view. Yeah. Me and Dean. We like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah. Your driver, yeah. Wheel to your heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. Brought daffodils to the hospital. To new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our 15th, said he'd finally talked me into my first implant. Was prepping some surprise. Uh, I don't see any implants on you. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V. I do, but I don't ever want to become one. Is that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean, only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Yeah, so why tell me about him? What's this about? Why tell me about Dean? Meaning, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. Uh, do you, do you feel like it's your fault? Is that what you're getting at? Are well, you saying you feel at fault for his death? Me at fault? Why would you think that? He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel. Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. Okay, that was a bad guess, I suppose. So what happened to your husband exactly? Your husband? How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight. Sampson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. He lost control. Isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. Hmm. So it was more like he was assassinated almost. So tell me about this Corpo Samson. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean. Dean and Samson had a history going way back. And something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. You know, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Uh, so there's more to this race then, huh? Right. So this isn't business as usual. For you, this isn't about winning. That's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this is your best plan for vengeance. Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. 
Another day at the races. In line with the rules. I mean, Claire, you know what we do, right? Like, you could have just asked me and I'd go do it. It'd take me five minutes. <laughs> what if Samson's not racing this year? And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go. Not try to repeat. All right, and you want my help killing this guy? And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. Uh, let's say the bastard won't finish the race alive. I don't really care about winning these at all, so... It means a lot to you, this. So, yeah. Let's bury the bastard. Thank you. This... It's important. I need it. See you for the final? That's right. Till then, V. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't seem like a hard choice at all. Maybe if there was a clear or better reward for taking first place, it would be a tougher choice. But, like, winning these doesn't matter at all. Other than just to say that you've done it. So... Anyway, hmm, the fixer's right here. Let's talk to him. So why do they call you El Capitan? Why El Capitan? The people, they're grateful. They show me respect because I put them first. Wow, a true altruist. Corpo worlds and disease. Power's got to get back in the hands of the people, and we'll do it. You'll see. I like your fanny pack. So how's biz? How's biz? I don't care for the word biz. I call it work. Hard work. Honest work. And I can't complain. You do know that everyone in this biz calls biz biz, right? <laughs> so tell me about Santo Domingo. Tell me about Santo Domingo. A lot of people tried to get a foothold here. Corpos, gangs, none of them made it. But real people live here in Arroyo and Rancho Coronado. Can't pull the wool over their eyes. We are the blood and guts of this city. Okay, well, that's enough of that. So where even am I? Man, look at this, so clean. Oh. Undiscovered, let's hit that one. And is there a fast travel point near me? Not really. There is one right up here. And there'll be an assault in progress right there. Let's just go knock those out. In our rust coal truck. I like this song because it kind of reminds me of Witch House. And I don't know if people still listen to Witch House, but I think Witch House is pretty cool. All right, what do we got here? Let's start with a breach protocol. I don't know what just saw me, but let's give him a contagion. <laughs> Where are you going? All right, let's give that a read. Uh, Nassim Pearlman, yes, at your service. Tucker Albach, I heard I can count on you, that you're reliable. Nassim, I wouldn't be in my position if I wasn't. Tucker, good, I like you, you'll take care of my car. Nassim, in what way? Tucker, the car has to disappear without a trace, has to be absolutely unidentifiable. Do we understand each other? Nassim, yes, of course. Um, I'll be there in an hour. Uh, Tucker, half an hour. Nassim, of course. Tucker, now I really like you, okay? And who's left? Is he over here? Goddamn 
Okay. That's the end of that. And there should probably be one more conversation in here. Yep. Uh, Nassim, I got instructions from Albok to destroy her car. She must have hit someone trying to cover it up. What do I do? And Aldo Schroeder, are you asking me as your supervisor at Militech or as a friend? Nassim, both if you care to share it. Aldo, well, as your supervisor, I say follow the instructions given by Miss Tucker Albach, but as your friend, I say take photos, collect evidence, then destroy the car. Never know when you'll need some dirt on Tucker Albach, and Nassim, thanks. That's funny, because we killed Tucker. <laughs> but it's kind of interesting that that came back up in a different scenario. Okay, so where where are we headed now? Yep, let's hit this. There is a reported crime, though. And an organized crime? Okay, let's drive over there. I could fast travel, but I do kind of want to knock some more of those out. We are sort of running out of game. And I don't know that when I do the final leg of the game, um, if I'm going to want to come back and keep playing just to do, like... NCPD missions. Those are definitely the least interesting, in my opinion. So if I have the chance to check them off, I'm probably just going to take it. Okay, yeah, so we're coming up right on this. And it looks like it's going to be below me. But I think I should be able to jump off this. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Never mind. Okay, so we found a somewhat safer spot to jump off the freeway. And we're just going to hoof it back to this one, because if I drive, it's just going to take me a crazy distance around this. And if I can leap off the side of the freeway and just get right to it, why wouldn't I do that? Fucking rap. more of them. Revealing my position to who? <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Uh, let's give that a read. Uh, Darnell Moore, Logan, Logan, help. Logan, what's up? Darnell found some sort of container, opened it using the generator... There was this sort of boom, but I think I felt it more than I heard it. Don't feel so good. Logan, fuck, was there a Biotechnica logo on the container? And Darnell says, yeah. Logan, probably a sonic shockwave security measure. Why the ever-loving fuck did you hook it up to a generator? Uh, Darnell, I'm dizzy, I'll just sleep it off. Logan, no, don't go to sleep, don't go to sleep, or you won't wake up. Darnell. Darnell went to sleep, and he didn't wake up. And it looks like it's right over here. Or is it? Now it's pointing me back in the house, but that was here. There we go. Now we can finally open it. A uh, micro vibration generator. Interesting. I don't think I've ever picked one of those up before. It increases the base damage of melee weapons by 10%. Fantastic. All right, and it is, of course, pointing me back here, but we already got that part of it, right?
Well, I think that's what I came here for, so yeah. Why don't we hit this one then? And I'm hoping I can just run straight at this one. And now organized crimes are once again the ones with tons of enemies, so let's see how good our quick hacking is at dealing with this. To all NCPD subcons, suspected organized crime activity reported near intersection of Sequoia and Gray. APB out on Paul Craven. Priors include corporate convoy hijacking. Also a known leader within an NC human trafficking ring. Active affiliations include the Wraiths gang. City authorities have offered a reward for neutralizing the threat. All right, I can do that. This looks like a reasonable way in right here. So let's once again start with Breach Protocol. All right, that just melted him. One up top. Let's do a cyberware malfunction, I guess. That's all I can do right now. And we'll just wait for my cooldowns to finish. Yeah, I mean, this is great. Yeah, we're just going to quick hack our way right through this. I can't do a contagion, but I could do a cyber psychosis. Alright, that helped. And then we'll do a contagion as well. Whoa! That scared me. <laughs> Obviously, I shouldn't be looting while I'm, like, in the middle of combat, but whatever. I'm in absolutely no danger. But we do have to disassemble some stuff. Alright. Alright. There's a legendary drop somewhere. I think it's way up above. Yeah, it says it should be right here, so I think it's above me. We'll have to check that out in a minute. I got bad news. <laughs> I 
I feel like we've seen this guy before, or at least that sprite for sure. So maybe this way we can get up above and see if we can't find that legendary drop. No, it doesn't look that way. Okay. Okay, maybe I exaggerated when I said absolutely no danger. But I do really want to find that legendary drop. Where is that? So I bet I can take this scaffolding, maybe? There we go. Really did not want to let me up that. Over here, okay. Yeah, here we go. What do you got? Oh, is that a legendary sniper? Let's see here. Or was it literally just the crafting spec? Oh, and I can, like, never craft legendaries, huh? That's a shame. Oh, well. Moving on. Uh, this is not good. There's no real easy way of getting down this, huh? Oh, boy. Uh, where am I now? Okay, perfect. Alright, well, quick hacking is a little less suited to do these. You do still have to do quite a bit of fighting. But I still thought that it softened it up enough to make it a lot more manageable. Because I remember these being quite difficult, where I was basically just hiding the entire time. All right, I think that's enough of that. And let's get to our undiscovered and buy that car. But we did end up chewing through quite a bit of money pretty quick. So we'll have to knock these jobs out fast to get it back, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. And once again, I don't really feel like I need to buy anything. Like, I'm pretty happy with all my cyberware. Obviously, like, you could find better stuff, but it doesn't really seem to matter that much. So I'm not really going to worry about it. We'll just sink it into the cars. I mean, it seems fairly obvious that that's at least to some degree what you're supposed to do with your excess money. And while I don't feel very good about that as far as, like, creating a game economy... Good 
I guess it could be worse. There could just be literally nothing to do with it. But it feels like they were like, huh, at the end of the game, I keep ending up with like a ton of money and nothing to spend it on. So what do we do? And they were like, well, we have all these, you know, car assets. We'll just give them to players and you can just spend a bunch of money on that if you want to, I guess. Before his ink had a chance to dry. Careful. You could be next. Good morning, Night City! Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Oh, I don't want to hit this guy. Oh, no. Oh, he's good. <laughs> I thought I was literally just going to watch, like, a game of Mousetrap play out that was going to fall right on his head. Okay, here we go. It's Rogue. Hey, got a client. Well, actually, it's just Nancy's son who's looking to get back something that was stolen. And, yeah, that Nancy. The one who punched keys in Samurai. Oh, one more thing. If you could recover this gong's wheels, too, that'd be real nice. So, you in? If so, find the details attached. I hope it's a van. We're always stealing vans. Okay, so let's check this out. Search and recover. Objective, rare bootleg samurai recording. Okay, I thought it was a car. But I guess we're getting their car too? Anyway, there's this old saying, if it wasn't for fools, there would be no sages. The same is true for fixers. The fool who needs your help is a man named Dan. Dan has a gambling problem. Lately, he managed to lose his car in a game of cards. To tell the truth, the ride's no great loss or anything. This guy isn't short on cars. What was valuable, however, was a one-of-a-kind bootleg samurai recording stowed in the trunk. How did our fool come into possession of it, you ask? Well, he's Nancy's son. The same Nancy who played keyboard for the band in the days when that snot-nosed boy used to call me Auntie. You'll get that album for me. Gut tells me they haven't pawned it off just yet. It's probably still stashed somewhere around the place. And if you can swing it, grab Dan's car too for a little bonus. I'll snap you the coordinates of the guy holding the goods. And be aware, he licks the boots of the 6th Street Gang, so expect to deal with another fool. A stubborn one. Okay? Well, first, why don't we sell a bunch of crap and check our loadout? Alright, and that's all that drop points money. Awesome. We can basically do that every time we go to a drop point now. I love it. So let's see what we're what we've gotten ourselves into here. Find the recording. Let's get that turned off. Alright, he's decided to patrol away. There are a few others over there. Camera, there we go. All right, this doesn't seem too tough so far. that guy out. And then it's right here, huh? Ooh, Johnny's shoes. Okay. I remember that gig. Blew my vocal cords out so hard I couldn't speak for a week. Wow, man. That must have been fun to watch. What, the gig? No, you're not speaking for an entire week. <laughs> Got him so good. How's that feel, Johnny? All right, well, we're getting a good number of Johnny's things. 
Whoa, not, not clear what we're still missing, but I may end up looking that up. I think I can pretty safely drop this guy. Right, let's read this conversation. Why and hey, Cap, how's life? El Capitan, not your fucking biz. I thought he didn't like that word. Uh, what do you want? And Wyatt got a ride to sell. Quadra, great condition. Low miles, crash free. Capitan, mm-hmm, not interested. Wyatt, hey, you don't even know what I'm asking for it. Uh, El Capitan, even free is too rich for me. You're a loser, Wyatt. I don't do biz with losers. User El Capitan has blocked you. Wow, El Capitan's mean. <laughs> All right, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can't creep through here and just take everybody out and then just drive this right out the front door. him with an overheat. And there's just the one, it looks like. Maybe I can just creep around this guy. He kind of looks like the guy we got in the fist fight with, but maybe that's just a common character model for 6th Street. I think that's everyone in here. Let's see, where's this last drop? Here we go. Oh, look at this thing. Really wish we could just have it. But let's take it and let's get out of here. barely tap forward and it's just flying. That car is clipped into the ground, but we're not going to worry about that. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that at all. But I think this was the kind of car we were trying to steal right at the beginning of the game when we first met Jackie. Yeah, it's got pretty good traction and really good acceleration. So what do I do here? Oh, no. You ask me, your words worth more than any Eddie. Oh, you just say that because you ain't got no Eddies. Uh, where is he? Looks like he's upstairs. Here we go. I've got your bootlegs. Huh? What bootlegs? What are you talking about? The samurai concerts? The one you hired me to find? Ooh, yeah, totally. Why didn't you say so? Shit, man, Shimura. Get the wheels, too? Uh, I did. Are you high? <laughs> you scared right now? What? That not allowed? You know how hard it is when your parents famous? You don't. Nobody does. Maybe you're an Obu Arasaka. 
Doesn't seem that hard to me, and Yorinobu is not dealing with it that well either, though, so I suppose maybe he's right. So you don't get along with your mom? You don't get along with your mom. <laughs> you know, I don't even remember the last time I called her mom. Don't even call her best Isis or mother or Nancy. The incredible one and only best Isis. Shit. All right, well, your car's downstairs. It's parked downstairs. Keys are in the ignition. What? For real? That's fucking far out, Shum. I won't forget this. Okay. <laughs> and it's Rogan. A gig well done, V. Our client's satisfied not only to get his hands on that recording, but the wheels too. A satisfied client means a satisfied fixer. Hell, you should be satisfied too. Contracts closed and payments on its way. Uh, and I gotta collect my reward from the drop points. Oh, one last thing, there is a bonus. Yep, which is just gonna be extra money. I'm not really sure I completely understand this mechanic. Like, why would I choose not to do the extra things in the job when they don't actually make the job that much more difficult? It's very strange, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. But let's find something else to do. Uh, 94,000. I don't have enough money for that. That one's 62. I do have enough for that. Um, but what's over here? 129. Yikes. That one's 14,000. And there's a reported crime and stuff. Mm. Yeah, the 225,000 one seems very interesting to me. But there are a couple side jobs right over here. So why don't we go ahead and tackle those? But that is, of course, going to have to wait until next time because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.